Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes of Physics. Today we're going to look at a refraction question from June 2010, paper 2. So, question 10. The diagram shows a torch emitting a beam of light from two different positions, A and B, underwater. So we see we've got A here, where our light is refracting out, and B here, where our light is reflecting off the surface and coming back in. So, firstly, part A. What is the name of the two dotted lines in the diagram? Well, that's obviously the normal and that's our imaginary perpendicular line that we always draw with the surface of our, with respect to the surface of, of our material. And we always measure our angles between the ray and the normal, not the ray and the surface. State the relationship between the critical angle and refractive index. Another nice recall question. So that's that the critical angle is the inverse sine, sine to the minus one, of one over n, the refractive index. Part C. Explain the paths followed by the two beams of light. Refer to the critical angle in your answer. So, if we just look at them for now, in A, we've got light hitting the surface and it's going through, it's refracting and it's changing direction. But in part B, we've got total internal reflection. Now, total internal reflection happens after the angle is past the critical angle. Before that, it'll refract out. So in part A, we've got that 35 degrees, it must be less than the critical angle, so we refract out. But in B, we've got 60 degree angle and it's reflecting, so 60 degrees must be more than the critical angle, so we get total internal reflection. And you see how we've referred to the critical angle as asked in our answers. Part D, explain why it's not possible to use the relationship in part B, theta c equals sine to the minus one of one over n, to find the refractive index of the water using an angle from the diagram. Well, this relationship only works at that important critical angle. Neither of our beams are going at the critical angle. At the critical angle, light hits the surface and then goes across at 90 degrees. It neither refracts nor reflects, or its angle of refraction is 90 degrees. That's not happening here, so neither of the angles are theta c. So we can't use it because we haven't got the critical angle. Part E, state the relationship between the refractive index, angle of instance, and angle of refraction. Another recall, state the formula, lovely. Now these normally come before you have to do a calculation. So, part two, use the angles from the diagram to calculate the refractive index of the water. Okay, so we're going to do, use our formula above, n equals sine i over sine r. I'm just going to put the sine and the sine, they're ready to put our numbers in. Now, this is a slightly tricky one. It's one I haven't seen before. So firstly, we can't use B because it's not refracting. But now let's look at A. Now, every time we did this experiment at school, we used a perspex block and we used this as our instance angle and that one there as our refraction angle. We used the angle in the air as the instance angle and the angle in the perspex as the refraction angle. And they mirror each other when they come in and out of the block. We've always put the low refractive index material on the top, the angle there, and the high refractive index material on the bottom. Now, your GCSE formula is a simplified version of the real formula that has to do it this way round. So the light here would do exactly the same, make exactly the same shape with the same angles if it was traveling from air to water and if it was, as the same as if it was traveling to water to air. So instead of doing using the incidence angle in the diagram, 35 degrees, we're going to use the refraction angle and imagine it's going in the opposite direction. So it's going to be sine 50 over sine 35 instead. And if you put that into your calculator, that comes out as 1.34. Now I've never seen this trick question repeated or before this time. So they've never done it before or since but they, you never know. So be prepared, always put the low refractive index number or the angle of the light when it is in the low refractive index material at the top and the high refractive index material at the bottom. Good luck with your revision.